Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day. I know I am. I mean, well, actually, it's been a bit poopy, but honestly, I'm trying to stay as positive as I can. And also, the next week update for Fortnite Battle Royale is actually keeping me very, very hyped. And uh, I'm going to tell you guys why in just a second. Now, before we do get into the video, guys, please do not forget to leave a like. And also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite glitches, guides, videos, all that kind of stuff. Including a couple of free skins when the Fortnite developers actually implement the feature where you can gift skins to your friends and family and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, but anyway, like I said, I'm very excited about next Next week's update and that's actually because Fortnite Battle Royale Season 4 actually has a brand new kind of feature I guess or kind of implementation that will be seeing the map receive weekly updates. Now what I mean by this is that one week Tilted Towers could be all broken apart like it is now but then the next week it could be a tractor there starting construction, building it back up the way it used to be. And then the next week after that, it could be something crazy, like there's a whole train track around the map or something. Something crazy like that. But it's actually being confirmed now, I guess, that this is going to be the case with every single week in Fortnite Battle Royale. And that's pretty much what this video is going to be talking about. Talking about the weekly map updates that we're going to be seeing. Now, some of you guys may not know, but around about three or four weeks ago, or I think it was like two weeks before season 4 was actually even mentioned at all, somebody leaked on Reddit a lot of information about what they thought about season 4 was going to be, claiming that they actually knew somebody at Epic Games and the person at Epic Games told them a lot of information and didn't want to be named. And uh, this was very interesting but unfortunately not a lot of people really believed in it and he basically said that season 4 was going to be superhero themed, he said that instead of Dusty, uh, sorry, instead of Tilted towers being destroyed by the meteorite it would have been dusty and he also said that the map would be making weekly updates and uh, yeah it seems like once it actually got to the point where season 4 was revealed to be superhero themed a lot of people instantly went back to this guy and they were asking him crazy like questions like crazy and it seemed like he actually knew what he was talking about it seemed like he was legit and pretty much up until this week it pretty much everything he said has came true. I mean, it's obviously superhero themed. And Dusty got destroyed instead of Tilted. And also the map had weekly updates this week that made it very, very interesting. So for those of you who don't know what those map updates are, basically what happened is that a brand new hatch was found in Wailing Woods in the game. But as of right now, we don't exactly know what it's there for, you know? And also, uh, I think it was the meteorite site used to be kind of more open and people could see from an aerial view what was down there, you know? But now it seems that it's actually been covered over by a white tent, which is very, very interesting. Now, although this is only one update that is kind of proving his theory correct, it seems like this dude pretty much knew what he was talking about from the get-go. I mean, he said everything exactly as it is right now. I mean, he said it's superhero themed, he said Dusty would be destroyed, and he said weekly updates. And all three of those things have actually came true, which is very, very interesting. And actually, I want to keep an eye on this dude in case he leaks anything else throughout the couple of weeks. Uh, but one thing that we also have seen around the map is that there is a lot of variation and a lot of weird things going on around the Fortnite map itself, such as, you know, the movie sets, the meteorite crash site, the dinosaur footprint somewhere on the map. You know, there's a lot of things going on that we just really haven't got a clue about as of right now. But as you guys probably saw from the thumbnail itself, you know, it's shown an actual picture of a city or a kind of area in Fortnite and what it could possibly look like in the future about four weeks down the line. Now, it actually isn't crazy to say that maybe the map may actually be regenerated to its official state the way it was before anything even happened in the Fortnite world. Now, what I'm talking about about this is, so basically, Fortnite looks very destroyed and, you know, very post-apocalyptic. And obviously, so many people are playing the game, it's very, very populated. So you could say that the population in Fortnite is actually went back to normal and it's kind of resumed. Now, what would be really cool is that if it basically treated the game as if, you know, people were coming back, you know, uh, humanity was kind of restoring itself. So all of those houses that you see down in, I guess, let's see, Retail Row, for example, that have breaks in them, cracks in them, 
maybe after the time goes by, you know, three or four weeks down the line, they will actually be reju reva revamped. Yeah, revamped. They will be revamped, looking normal, pristine, and maybe even some areas around the map looking very sci-fi, futuristic looking. Now, the reason I say this is that the Meteorite Crash Site obviously has something very, very special inside of it. Now, one cool thing about science fiction and everything like that, especially if we're going to talk about Marvel, is that in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, basically Vibranium came down from space and crashed in a little obsolete town or kind of city or uh, I guess country, sorry, yeah, it's a country called Wukanda. And uh, basically the residents of Wukanda studied this material, this metal, and they were actually able to make very technical, technological advances in their kind of, uh, I guess, buildings and everything like that. And everything in their everyday life, everything got very technological and very futuristic. Now, what would be really cool about this meteorite crash site is that if this was a sort of similar story, you know, uh, this meteorite actually had some special metal in it. And basically inside this metal, uh, the people of, I guess the world of Fortnite was able to study this metal and then kind of advance their whole li livelihood and livingness this, I don't know if that's a word, but we'll go with it anyway, and basically create a bit of a futuristic kind of looking map. Now, honestly, I know not a lot of people have really thought about this, but how cool would it be to see the map change like this? I mean, instead of Fortnite having to actually like build brand new maps every like couple of months down the line, they could just continuously update the current one so that it just seems like it's a brand new map every couple of months, you know? So I'm thinking that maybe season five is bigger than we think, you know, maybe they've got some huge plans such as, you know, they've got the superhero kind of themed areas, you know, such as the big mansion, the kind of area inside the mountain, and they've also got that secret hatch that has something in it too, and also the meteorite. What if all of this is kind of a sign that futuristic kind of Fortnite is going to be the future of the game franchise itself? I mean, obviously, Sometime down the line, like maybe like a year from now, obviously it can revert back the way it is, the way it is now with its all like woodlands and everything. But I would love to go into t like tilted towers and just see like futuristic stuff everywhere, like billboards that are like holograms and stuff like that. Um, basically like, I guess buildings that look like they're from like Dubai or something, you know? But one thing is for sure that I definitely want to see what the whole story is about the movie sets. They're obviously going to grow on and grow on. The meteorite crash site is obviously going to evolve as it gets on. And also current areas that have been destroyed by the meteors, such as Tilted Towers, will eventually be rebuilt, you know? So that's really, really fun. But yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video. I just kind of wanted to talk about this because it's been on my brain, racking it for a long time now, and I'm just really interested about the future of Fortnite Battle Royale. And I kind of wanted to give my opinion of what I think it would look like being very cool and futuristic and everything like that. I mean, obviously some of you guys will disagree on this, but you know what? If you had an ideal Fortnite map in the future, what would it be? Would it be futuristic? Would it be a complete desert or something like that? Tell me in the comment section below. I would actually love to know. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.